off the hoo Way too friendly Acting this much when you off the hoo Girl, don't tell me Smell it through the mason jar Good gas, it could take us far I could damn near taste a star Damn near taste a star Mess with you like we in love Kissing you like the only one One is such a lonely number Girl, it ain't enough Flashy, flashy girl Flashy, flashy girl Ratchet, every girl Won't you? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amai, and as you can tell by the title, today we are doing a tattoo tour. The last time I did one of these was in 2020, so I thought I would update you guys on the tattoos that I have. I only have like maybe two or three more than what I had before, so I just want to give you guys a cute little update because you guys talk about them quite often. So I just thought I would tell you what I have and what I have updated from what I had last time three years ago two years ago so that's what we're doing today um i want to say excuse me for my lack of face i was gonna film a makeup video today but i've been having really bad problems with my eyes recently i'm gonna talk about it more in the vlog that i post on sunday but i didn't want to make the problem even worse by just putting makeup and everything on and around my eyes so we're going makeup list today it is what it is so let's get started i'm gonna start with the one that you guys talk about the most this one on my chest it is from avatar the last airbender i have air fire earth and water here i think since it is tattooed on my body in a very you see it spot people think i'm a much much bigger fan of avatar than i really am i do love the show i love watching the show continuing to go back and watch the show but i'm not one of those diehard fans that support everything that the franchise does like i didn't watch the m night Shyamalan movie uh hot take i uh, or y'all are gonna be mad at me but i didn't watch Korra. i have no desire to watch legend of Korra. um it is just what it is. I'm not gonna watch this new live action Netflix thing that they're doing now. I just, I, I mean, y'all can watch it and what I'll go off of the general consensus of what people are saying and then maybe I'll give it a shot. But as of right now, I have no plans on watching the live action. I am a last airbender purist and <laughs> I like the original show and it's so it's generic enough to where people can tell that I have the elements on me earth is kind of a harder identifier people can tell that I have the elements on me and they don't ask too many questions about specifically where it's from and it's one of my favorites I literally forget that it's here because I can't see it but it is definitely one of my favorites I originally wanted to get this two times smaller but every time I bring I feel like my tattoo artist like every time I have a tattoo idea I think he could do it this tiny and that's just not the reality of things so he'll always put the stencil on me and I'm like great even though I want it like two times smaller but I'm no longer like annoyed by the size of this one I actually really like it but I always say if I were to get any tattoo removed it would be this one because I would put it in a different location I originally wanted it on the top of my foot but I would want it on my right foot and I need my right foot to drive <laughs> but yeah that this is the one that you guys talk about the most I would give you chronological order of when I got all these tattoos but I truly don't remember that is that one the next one that I have is this one on my finger I always knew that I wanted this like henna type design on my hand going down my arm it was inspired by Rihanna's henna type tattoo or um like the tattoo that she got but she got hers like done the traditional way I have no resources to be able to do that I knew that I had wanted this henna type design and I originally was gonna start from the top down but my tattoo artist that I go to currently does not do fingers because of what my finger looks like. Of course, I'm gonna put like a better a better footage of what it looks like close up, but I totally understand why he doesn't do fingers. It's a hard area to retain ink. I've actually had this tattoo done twice and this is currently what it looks like. And I've just given up on trying to make it look not like this. Like, um, do I have a desire to get my fingers done still? Sort of, but the way that this is designed i don't really have like the liberty to go up without it looking kind of broken and disjointed it's not gonna look like one complete piece if i do that but um yeah i either way i'm still like eh about having my fingers done but that is this one that is the first tattoo that i have ever gotten in my life i got it maybe a week or so after i turned 18 and i literally just got it because i would i could i got it because i had money from my birthday and i wanted to get it so i did so i got this tattoo like six years ago the next one on my body um is my happier than ever tattoo 
it is no secret if you follow me on Instagram and watch my stories I post about Billie Eilish at least three times a week that is my girl um, I'm a huge stan and also the song happier than ever is about being in an abusive relationship and leaving and being happier than ever now that you have left that abusive relationship and I did that um, am I gonna give a story time about it probably not it would probably be like a podcast episode down the line I make mention of it from time to time on my channel but am I gonna give a full in-depth like video if I'm gonna dedicate a whole video to it probably not just because um, I don't want to give him the satisfaction of saying that I'm talking about him but yeah so that's what that tattoo is the next one that I have is this tarot card of the Sun on my forearm this one I got I knew I had wanted a son um, Arnell is one of my favorite influencers and she has a son she has a few sun tattoos and I saw how beautiful her sun tattoos were and I decided that I had wanted one but I didn't just want a sun I felt like just the sun is boring so I got the sun on a tarot card I actually got the inspiration from this tattoo on Pinterest it was being like sold as a print so I don't know who the original like artist of my tattoo is like I realized that that's wrong that I stole the art I didn't get the artist's permission but I didn't really have too much knowledge on that back then when I was getting this tattoo but yeah I knew I had wanted a son because I saw Arnell's son even though I love Arnell and she has me blocked on Twitter for no reason <laughs> like I looked one day and Arnell has me blocked but yeah I knew I had wanted a son so I was googling like sun inspiration because I had my tattoo appointment set and I was originally gonna get a snake that like wrapped around my shoulder and then last second I was like I don't know if I want that so literally I think my appointment was on a Friday on like a Wednesday I was on Google looking for different tattoo ideas because I didn't want to give up my appointment because I actually really really wanted a tattoo and I thought about the sun and it also has sunflowers in it sunflowers are my favorite flower so yeah that's the tattoo this tattoo actually hurt the least I um, almost took a nap during it up on the top where it has the numbers um, that was probably the most painful part of it but other than that like it wasn't that bad maybe it took like an hour hour and a half my tattoo artist works fairly quickly and yeah it's one of my favorites I love looking at her little face and her little eyelashes and her little lips she's my girly girl and I love her the next one that I have is this one on my hand um, I got this done in three different sessions so hopefully I still have the picture somewhere of it before like as it was getting done like before I had the other pieces so this was the from this line to like here was the first session this one was the second and then all these leaves and flowers and things from here this line down is the third session now I my intention was never to have a half sleeve but that's just kind of what is happening so I do have to fill this space here because I said it in my last tattoo video like it looks great like pointed downwards it's a perfect like arrowhead going up towards like my shoulder but when I lift my hand it goes on an angle just because of how anatomy and arms work so I do have to fill this space eventually up oh my god <laughs> like you can see the flower from the Sun kind of connects to the leaf on like this arrowhead part of the tattoo so I was thinking of getting more foliage over here and just expanding these leaves to connect it to the card get some more flowers and, and things <sighs> but yeah that is that one I got this done in three sessions maybe in total from here all the way down I had paid maybe like $500 for the entire piece um, I was super overcharged for the first part because I got it done at my local mall and they had a tattoo shop inside the mall and they charged me way too much for it this one this part here and then the one on my finger are the only ones that are not done by my current tattoo artist this on my knuckle real sketchy <laughs> and uh, I think I moved or I don't know but it was supposed to be a crescent moon but it looks like a jalapeno but I'm not gonna do anything about it it's been here for so long maybe like a few years but yeah real prisony and then my this one people never ever really realize is an avatar tattoo is Ko the face stealer it is a wraparound tattoo this is my most expensive and the longest tattoo that I have um, 
it took about four hours I would say this is also probably the most painful tattoo that I have just because of all of this shading up in the knuckle area I could have sworn he was like in between my fingers and it was so painful and it was uncomfortable because at a certain point I had to kind of sit with my arm like t bent around so he could do the wraparound portion um, it took about four hours cost me about four hundred dollars but I do really love this I also would remove this and put it in a different area but I don't have any qualms with it I have both my hands done and I love both of my hands but yeah no one ever really realizes that this is also an avatar tattoo my most recent tattoo is this one here it says Lacey if you guys know in March my cat Lacey died um she was the like light of my life literally the most wonderful creature I have ever come across in my life and I'm so blessed to have had her she was my great-grandmother's cat and then when my great-grandmother passed I took her and she was literally my best homie she is <laughs> She, I have a little urn set up for her with her paw print and everything but this cat like is my whole world my moon my sun and I two days after she had passed I had got her name tattooed on me um, I had posted about it a little bit in the community tab and I had taken a break when she was going through her sickness but she had cancer in her eye um, that is I don't know that I'm healed enough to tell that full story but it progressed very quickly and she was in a gr so much pain and I had to put her down on March 22nd and then March 24th I went and I got the tattoo of her name and that is my baby and she will always be in my heart and I think that's all the tattoos that I have oh I lied I have a picture a picture I have a drawing of a rose on my left hip but I'm not gonna show you guys that because um <laughs> It's on my hip and the tattoo artist originally put it like closer to my coochie and I was like that's too close to my coochie it's got it's a hip tattoo it's not a coochie tattoo but it's still really close to my coochie so I'm not gonna show you that but it's literally just a rose on my hip and that's really 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 it um, my goals for my tattoos are I want my arms to be somewhat symmetrical because the tail on my co tattoo and the right yeah and the bottom of my like henna are kind of aligned you can't even see where the tail ends on on here but like they're kind of at, like they end at around the same spot so I have a tarot card here I'm gonna get a tarot card here and then I have my happier than ever writing up here I'm gonna get another Billie Eilish song up here maybe like bad guy because this is like my sunshiny flowery pretty arm and this is like kind of my dark dark arm so I kind of want them to be symmetrical but not really and then I will have nothing on this on this side to mirror this side because I already have the legs of Ko but that's it I think and I don't know that I have too much more to say than that um thank you guys so much for watching sorry if this was a little bit rambly but uh yeah uh, whatever else I have to say will be said in editing or in post but that's pretty much all of the tattoos that I have so far and next time I go to get a tattoo maybe I'll take you guys with me thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on Sunday with another vlog